Hello guys today in this video I will tell you about top 10 best villains that come in Naruto anime. Number 10. Kabuto Yakushi. No one is ever born evil and Kabuto was not born evil. Kabuto grew up at an orphanage with many other children. He made a special bond to one special nun in the orphanage who he could call his mother. When he grew up he learned medical ninjutsu. Danzo and Orokimaru took a great interest in him and decided to take him in. Kabuto became a spy to the leaf. In one mission he killed his mother and he got so hurted. He learned from Orokimaru that the leaf planned this for a long time and Kabuto went against the leaf. He joined Orokimaru with his experiment and he lived to protect him. Later when Orokimaru died he went in his foots and tried to be like him. I don't think Kabuto is evil, he was just a confused man who had nowhere to go. Point 9. Zabuza and Haku. At the ninth spot comes Zabuza and Haku. Zabuza was a criminal from the Hidden Mist who was wanted all over the water country. He left as a swordsman and became a criminal. He worked for other bosses doing missions to earn money. He brought in Haku who felt to protect him forever. At first yes Zabuza was evil but he turned good in the end by Naruto's words when he realized that Haku died for him and not died for him as a tool. Even thought he turned good in the end he was still a criminal who did bad things but he made that all up when he alone went against his boss and killed him. He died with a smile. 8 The Sound 4 At the 8 spot at the top 10 list comes the Sound 4. The criminals from Orokimaru group. Their mission was to capture and secure Suzuki safely to Orokimaru. They are all douchebags in my opinion and they got killed by Koji, Shikamaru, Niji, and Rock Lee. They still earned this spot since they were criminals from Orokimaru's group and everybody from Orokimaru group are villains so they deserved this spot. 7 Danzo Shimura The seventh spot goes to Danzo Shimura. He is known to be the most hated in the leaf. With his ambitions and dreams of a true hidden leaf he has been hated along all Naruto fans. Danzo was the one behind the Uchiha massacre and the one who stole many Sharinan from other Uchiha including Shisui. Danzo gets the seventh spot for being a douche and a dick. Just imagine him being Hokage. Oh hell no I say. Can't even believe the Fire Lord almost made him Hokage. 6 Sasori. At the 6th spot at the top 10 list comes Sasori. Sasori the puppet master of the hidden sand. Sasori was born in the hidden sand with his parents and his grandmother Cho. After Sasori's parents died in the war, Cho decided to not tell Sasori and instead lie to him. Sasori found out about this later and bared a hatred to Cho. When Sasori grew up he worked with puppets for the hidden sand. He was called Sasori of the Red Sand because of his dangerous puppets. Sasori was also the one making the poison into his puppets. When he got older he deserved his village and kidnapped the third Kaze cage to make him into him the first human puppet. Later Sasori got in the Akatsuki and he was introduced in the first season. The reason why Sasori takes the sixth spot is because of his awesome puppets. But he is still not good enough to be at the top five. 5 Obito Uchiha At the 5th spot comes the evil Obito Uchiha. Obito was not born evil but he was deceived by Madara to follow his foots. Obito created the evil Akatsuki who hired in S-class evil rough ninja to capture all tailed beast. He was the one who also started the 4th great ninja war and teamed up with Kabuto to reanimate dead ninja and the army of white Zetsu. Obito was revealed to be working with Madara for years and that they both planned to be the Ten Tails Jin Hiroki. The reason why Obito gets the fifth spot is because of his long evil plans working in Madara's foots. For Kisame Hashigaki. At the fourth spot on the top ten list comes Kisame. Kisame Hashigaki, once a hidden mist ninja who hated the rules. He took the rules of one of the hidden swordsmen to kill his comrades to secure intel and not give it away. He later escaped in a mission killing his comrades so they wouldn't give any information away to the enemy. He later went to his boss and killed him. He took his sword and made it his own. Yagura the fourth Mizu cage busted him but he was actually controlled by Obito. 
Obito offered him to join the Akatsuki which he did. The reason why Kisame gets the fourth spot is because he is awesome and he is like a senpai to me. 3 Madara Uchiha At the third spot of the top 10 list comes Madara Uchiha. Madara was not born evil and no one is but he was deceived by his father who said that the Senju were evil. Madara was the first one to unlock the internal Manjikyo Sherinan and became the, the leader of the Uchiha clan. Madara got defeated by Hashirama and he got the Khois to build the village of their dreams which they did. Later Zetsu came to Madara telling him about the Uchiha stone and Madara read it to Hashirama telling about his true dreams. Madara left the village to later be defeated by Hashirama. Madara was assumed to be dead but he was alive. He rescued Obito and deceived him to the evil side. Madara died and was revived by Edo Tensei later. When the Jutsu was done, Madara escaped the Edo Tensei and was revived. He later got the Rinnegan in both eyes and became the Sage of the Six Paths. He used the infinite Tsukuyomi to put everybody in a Genjutsu and his dream was fulfilled. He was killed by Black Zetsu later. 2 Black Zetsu At the second spot of the top 10 list comes the evil Black Zetsu. This guy has a enorm high Q even more than Shikamaru. He planned his mother's revive for years and he soused with hard work. He turned Indra, Madara, and Obito to evil by just telling them their true power. He deserves the second spot because of his long evil plan and that he soused was good for him. I don't like him but since he was the one who soused in his long year plan he deserved the second spot. 1. Orokimaru At the number 1 spot on the top 10 list comes Orokimaru. No one is born evil and sadly for Orokimaru he turned evil. He lived a life with regrets after his mother and father died. Hiruzen Sarutobi took care of him telling stories how great they were. When Orokimaru grew up he started to experiment on internal life. He had human experiment to help him test out his experiments. He also went into the Leaf Arcade to get books. Hiruzen busted him while he did his experiment and he told the truth to his master that it was his doing. He escaped and was not seen. Later in the original series Orokimaru took great interest in Suzuki. He was introduced as the main evil villain. I think Orokimaru is a great villain with great plans and lol how much I loved when Suzuki killed him. Orokimaru deserves the number one spot in this top 10 because of his evil plans and thinking.